Ok guys, I'm here today with new balance, a huge honor for me and Ty and uh, today the yeah, new just showing an entire structure all about the modified guillotines and today he's gonna show us here one of his favorite moves from that instructional or new and can you explain a little more about yeah, the yeah so this instructional is and it's not based on so much uh standard guillotines i'm not doing any of that what i'm doing is these weird style guillotines that you don't have to fall back for and if you do you can still do them but it's mo it's basically modified so it, the, when a guy defends a guillotine correctly, they'll with these chokes, they that his his counter won't work, so he does the right thing. But if he still chokes, so it's kind of it's just a little tweaked. And the one I'm going to do for you today is one of my favorites. I've been I shot this video a long time for Hayabusa, but it's starting to catch on. Uh, I call it the handgun, you know, because it's just a little hand choke. But there's some details that I've added to it over the years to make it a little higher percentage. And this one, you don't have to fall back for. You can finish on top. You can set it up from the bottom. It's a lot of fun. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, it's basically stuffing the head into my armpit. But I'm going to start with the collar tie. Now, that collar tie that's on his head is not going to move. All right. I'm going to place it into my armpit. And I'm going to do a little detail. When guys do this, they have a problem. The hand is in front of the armpit. You're going to have, you know, sometimes slippage of the of the cranium there. So I put it, like, so it's my hand is in my armpit. It gives it a little deeper grip, makes the choke a little stronger. My other hand to make this grip is going to be as high as possible on my hand. So there's not coming on the inside like a figure four. It's coming on the outside, like covering your wrist watch. And you want to... Get as high as you can. I tell people when I teach this, make butterflies. You got that it. stupid thing. But that's, you're not always going to get that. So how do I get my hand as high? I pinch my elbows together. Pinch my elbows together. My hand get nice and high. All right. Once my hand gets high, then I can start creating a different pressure. So basically, I'm going to be creating a pressure with my hand, pushing his head square down to my forearm. And my forearm, and by bringing my shoulder back, it's gonna kind of like action, kind of like uh, like if I was a starring in a movie. I got it. Okay. I got it. I got it. So I got it. You smooch your elbows together. You get high as possible, and it's a great show. Very painful. If he double legs me, it's still gonna work, and it just goes into a bunch of sequences. Okay. So whether, however, you want to start this, you basically get his head underneath like a snap or however. Now from here, as I get on top, my armpit, you don't see my hand, okay? I push my forearms together, my elbows together, so I can get my hand nice and high, okay? And now I keep his hand, head tucked on my armpit. I'm just going to go ahead and create some pressure and get a tap. And what it does, it keeps the head from still, so he can't rotate the head towards the body to get some pressure off the trachea. You know, and, and get you get fast taps this way when you target the throat because it hurts so much. You're not I'm not trying to put him to sleep necessarily. Yeah. He'll tap from pain far before he goes to sleep. Yeah. Oh, anyway, and I noticed that uh, the hand that you approach to set up a technique, you don't even move that hand. You just keep it right on top of the head. Yeah, it's in front. Okay. I, just, I literally just get his head down or pop above him where I can get my his head and my yeah. hand in my armpit I, and then and then you bring the other one yeah push yeah, the elbows incredible. get high and then yeah. make it tight can you do one more time you're oh, just absolutely. Like, I, I see again. when you have it down it's very fast good and you can you can even get it down when a guy's trying to take you down and you club them and bam yeah i, I use this to pass butterfly guard even good you know you can do a lot with this and it'll be in the instruction yeah okay so i start with my collar tie you know wrestling Snap them, lock my hand. You can see oh, I'm awesome. nice and deep. My shoulder's on the back of his neck. I pinch my elbows together, like clasping his face. Yep. Allows my hand to get nice and high. And then from here, from this pressure, you can see I start pulling back. And now he's going to feel the choke. Oh, that's incredible. Yeah. That's incredible. Real simple. And the, yeah. And the, yeah, man, I love it how the collar tie doesn't move. So it's. Yeah, very simple. Yeah. And the. And the beauty of that is that you don't have to sit down, so you you you, you can finish all your jokes from there without needing to play guard. 
Another thing is the disengagement. Right. I, I'm still have a frame. So if I if I come here and things go wrong, I still have a disengagement. Oh, yeah. right, and he awesome. doesn't have a clear right, access right. to my lower body. Okay. So you if you fa if you start going for it and you feel failure, bam, I can go ahead and create distance a little bit. Yeah. No, and I'm just picturing here like from standing you can easily collar tight the person, bring it them down very, and boom. Once you get it down, you can it's go done. really fast. Oh. To the point where you can time guys shooting in. If you're right, that's amazing. Older I get, the less I want to work. So that's amazing. I try to bait guys a little more, play a more counter grappling. Yeah. And when you have these kind of techniques down, you can get away with a lot of things because it's not giant motion. It's not a lot of motion. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. not a lot of risk. Yeah. Well, anyway, and then the whole instructional is all about like this type of like modified guillotines that, yeah, that like people are not thinking of. Everybody's thinking about a guillotine are, like this. Some are pinching the throat, some are fisting in the fist in the throat. You know, they're all just these little modified that if somebody was going, you know, someone's going for a regular guillotine on you, all your defensive techniques that would work to beat that won't beat these. Good. Good. So they kind of bend the rules of, of someone's defense. What he does won't oh, it's work. Awesome. They have their own, they're in their own element. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. No, and it increases efficiency. And also, like, uh, the person defending doesn't really know what's coming because it's not a traditional yeah. guillotine. Oh, that's yeah, incredible. you can set it up from all positions. And, and it's quick. It's very, very quick. And uh, like I said, I like the fact that I can finish on top. And you, you'll get guys that will do, like, you know, that bailout. If you get in a yep. guillotine, you give up position, try to grab the wrist. If they bail out, you just finish on top. It, yeah. You can even finish side mounted. It's not, It's it breaks all those rules. Oh, that's incredible. Yeah. Oh, that's I just awesome. call it the handgun because, you know, it's just a hand grip and yeah. I'm big into shooting. Yeah. I would either call handgun or the, the guillotine, the, the butterfly grip. Yeah. That's how I get people to remember. I say something <laughs> oh, silly. That's, that's like, you know, butterflies. Oh, that's, that's, that's <laughs> and awesome. And they'll remember that's me awesome. doing that stupid thing. <laughs> Yeah. No, but anyways, guys, you just shot this entire structure all about modified guillotine. So you just saw one example of uh, how to do the guillotine a little different. And uh, I think you guys all saw how, po how powerful it can be. And uh, the structure is coming out amazing. And it's going to be at bggfanatics.com very soon. Maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. So make sure to check that out. And uh, thanks so much. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Uh, there you go. Yeah, thanks for the support, everyone. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.